So um, a fellow colleague teacher uh, asked me, uh, how do you change the orientation of a keynote slide, but when you're working on your iPad, which is actually different, things are very different. It's actually a lot harder to work on your iPad, especially when you're creating. So uh, I wanted to showcase a uh, just a quick little video tutorial that I did for her and I figured why not put it up for others to see because that's all this is what it's all about it's about sharing sharing our knowledge and what we know and being there for each other and making things easier for each other so thank you Maria Gonzalez for reaching out and I hope this helps and I apologize for the hastiness of it but I did want to get get it to you as soon as possible all right guys enjoy you're gonna go you're gonna obviously you know how to do this create a new presentation uh, I'm creating a new one. It doesn't matter if I'm one, I'm on widescreen or or um, standard. But then you're gonna go to the three little dots at the top right corner, and you're gonna go to document setup. And notice at the bottom you have themes, and then if you go away to the side, to your right hand side you got slide size. So you're probably here. You already know that you can do. This is your standard uh, paper size, the four by three, right? Uh, then you have your 16 by 9, which is your uh, widescreen. If you keep going, go to custom, and you're going to invert these numbers, and you want the width to be 768, and you want the height to be 1024. So then you're going to click on done, and now you have that portrait size. I really hope it helped. Uh, Maria, thank you so much for reaching out, and please continue asking me questions. I love to help. That's what I'm here for. Um, I'm going to try to send this out to you as soon as possible. Thank you.